Hi, Dark Energy 345 here with an announcement for all you Luigi's Mansion fans. As you know, there will be a sequel to the original Luigi's Mansion coming out on March 24th of this year. So, in celebration of that, I am working on a fan made Luigi's Mansion game that I call Luigi's Mansion Till Midnight. Uh, this game um, is completely fan based. Uh, when I finish it, it will not be for profits or anything like that. I, be, mainly because I do not own anything from Nintendo. Um, and also, I just make this stuff to put smiles on people's faces and give them something to enjoy. Um, so, um, the game hasn't... God, I have not very gotten very far with the game so far on its production, but I will talk a little bit about the game and how far I've gotten on it. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple screenshots of what I have so far. It's not very much. Um, as you can see here on this first screenshot, uh, I have put Luigi in there. Uh, he's got his working flashlight. The vacuum works. Uh, it can't suck up anything yet. Uh, he can't jump. He will jump in this, but he can't right now. Uh, the music note and player one signal uh, is hit, uh, sign up on top of the uh, top left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, those will not be visible when the game is in its complete form. Um, the little gauge down at the bottom with the zero underneath it. Um, there's a funny story about that. Uh, in this fan game, I figured I would go back to the original Luigi's Mansion beta, the beta of Luigi's Mansion 1, and bring the, the heat gauge back so the vacuum overheats in this, um, which goes to the reason why I called this Till Midnight. You have five hours to save whoever's in the, whoever's in the mansion. Of course, these five hours are in game time, not in real time. Out here in the real world, for real time, you only have 20 minutes. So, <laughs> big difference. Um, so, this heat gauge doesn't doesn't help with that any. Um, here's another screenshot, another example of, of when it's in action. Uh, there is actually a uh, vacuum animation sprite there, but uh, you can't really see it because one of its frames, um, one of its frames, have it to where it's transparent, so you can't see it in this frame. Um, so you, so as you can see, I've still got a little bit of ways to go. It's just in the testing stages. I don't have any ghosts to program yet. I'm working on them. Uh, I, so I have not been able to program any of the mechanics yet. Um, however, I will I will now show you a uh, couple images of the sprite sheets I've created. Speaking of which, everything I'm going to show you, I custom made myself. And um, I, uh, I, design, I designed all this myself, so, um, yeah, first of all, um, this, uh, this is the sprite sheet for Luigi, uh, it's still in, it's still in progress, uh, uh, I'm still working on it, it's not quite finished yet, um, I, I, I it took me a little bit to, uh, get, get the, the vacuum's core position correctly, but I'm happy with it. Um, oh yeah, the vacuum on Luigi's back, uh, it is not the poltergust. It is not the poltergust in any way. It is actually a vacuum I created myself call, that I call the Mach Vacuum 9000. Uh, which leads me to, uh, ex to explain a little bit of the concept of this, uh, some more concept of this game. Professor Egad is not going to be the one who will be helping you in this game. Uh, would, he, 
that does not mean he will not appear, of course. He actually does appear. He is actually going to be one of the people you have to rescue. Um, the one who is helping you will be a ver will be a version of me who will be who will be helping you in this game. It makes sense since the mock vacuum 9000 is a, is an invention is an invention of mine, something I came up with. Um, this this game consists of multiple mansions, uh, kind of like the new Luigi's Mansion that's coming up. The only thing about them is that I'm putting beta concepts from the original Luigi's Mansion. The, the beta version of it in here, such as the heat gauge. That's that, that's what I'm putting in here. And also, I will have the clock. I will have a custom-made clock that I made myself. It won't look anything like the original beta clock from Luigi's Mansion 1. It'll be something I designed myself. Um, now, um, the vacuum, of course, uh, it actually overheats quite easily. It will overheat within uh, somewhere close to 10 seconds, something like that. I don't know. It feels like it. But um, the, the the upside to all of this, uh, aside from the vacuum overheating quickly, uh, it, the game will have a uh, upgrade engine in it, where during the middle of a mansion. You can the the points you collect um, will allow you to purchase in-game upgrades to make your vacuum stronger. And uh, some of those upgrades include uh, a vacuum cooling system, which slows the heating of your vacuum down. There is the suction uh, increase, which uh, will cause the vacuum to have more attack power. Um, and a mixture of those two that I call the vacuum supercharge. The vacuum supercharge is, will have both the cooling system and the uh, vacuum suction increase, giving you two power-ups for the price for the price of one. Uh, I, there are still more upgrades that I'm going to come up with. Uh, I have not yet come up uh, with what they will be and just yet. I have a few ideas. Um, also, another thing, Mario will not it will not be uh, an NPC in this. He, You will not have to save him in this at all. As a matter of fact, uh, Mario will be the second player in this. So this will be probably one of the few fan-made Mario games out there where Mario plays second bananas to Luigi, or whatever you want to say. Uh, the two-player will be split-screen. Um, two-player mode will make it easier for the players uh, to get. Uh, it will make it e the gameplay easier. So uh, it, it might make it might be a little more simple. To get, uh, get through the mansion that way, or harder, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, uh, I do, however, uh, going back to the whole ghost creation thing, I do, however, have one boss ghost almost completed, but I won't mention anything about it. Not yet. Uh, or, well, I don't know if I will or not, actually. I will, however, say that uh, in one of the mansions, it will be entirely based off of the original Luigi's Mansion. I don't mean the actual uh, complete Luigi's Mansion uh, uh, game that was released for you know, re uh, retail stores. I'm talking based off of the original beta Luigi's Mansion. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a image from just a simple frame from a sprite sheet that I started working on of one ghost that I've started working on. Why don't you take a look at it here for a second and see if you can figure out where it's from. If 
many of you have guessed that this ghost comes from the beta version of Luigi's Mansion, you would be right. I have found, I have found images. I mean, well, it's easy to find. Actually, it's easy to find images on the internet of these beta ghosts. But the point is, I found images of these beta ghosts, and I am actually going to take these images and I'm going to custom make sprite and sprites for these ghosts to appear in this game. So the long forgotten beta ghosts, which everyone seems to be very fascinated in, will be co uh, coming into this game as enemies. And also the notorious King Boo, uh, uh, it will be in charge of one of the mansions. Uh, the only two mansions, that's one of the mansions I've come up with. Um, the, I've come up with the second mansion idea that I have for another mansion is a casino-like mansion that I will call Moonlight Casino. Uh, I won't say much on that one just, on that one because uh, it's still in the thought process. But um, yeah, this is all I'm going to say say about it. Uh, um, if you want to know more about this, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit a like, a favorite, anything like that. So, uh, leave a comment. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, give me some, just give me a little feedback on this. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, it you know, uh, it, like I said before, just subscribe to the channel if you want uh, to stay up to date on it. And also, if you have any suggestions on possible ideas for uh, ghosts or, uh, or anything for the game, that would be you know, I might. Chances are I might not use it. There's, you know, there's always a chance that I might not use it or not. Or, you know, you get the idea. But I'm always willing to take some, some ideas. Um, but yeah, again, subscribe, like, favorite, comment, uh, and um, I will post some updates again uh, when I get further along in the in the game. Uh, when I get a good good base going, I might actually find a way to uh, post a little bit of footage, like actual working in-game footage. So, um, yeah, this has been Dark Energy, and I am signing off now, so, uh, till next time.